Today I will show you how to turn this into this. Here is everything we will need. First of all, two containers like this. These are stainless steel. A little bit of threaded rod. You can find it in your local hardware store or you can make it by yourself if you have the right tools. We will need a little bit amount of sheet metal. A few nuts and bolts like this. Regular drill. And one special tool which you may or may not have at home is this rivet maker. It has rivets like this. You put it in two pieces of sheet metal and it rivets them together. We will see how that works in a few minutes. And that's it. This is everything we will need to make a backpacking wood stove for our bushcraft trips in the winter. Sorry, completely forgot to mention that you will need some kind of method to cut metal with. You can either use a hacksaw or an angle grinder, I will be using both. Uh, if you will be using a hacksaw, I would recommend a good quality blade, something like a B-metal blade, which are very sharp, very rigid and very high quality for cutting this stainless steel. To cut out this piece, uh, I recommend drilling four holes in the corners with uh, the size of drill bit which is your hacksaw blade and then you can install the hacksaw blade inside and cut it that way. Now to speed up the process I will be using an angle grinder. If you have this then it is not a problem. If you don't have an angle grinder you can do the method which I just told you. And if you have an angle grinder, make sure to wear eye protection and also a respirator would be good.
Now that we made two holes on both sides, I cut out a small piece like this from sheet metal. I put, I lined the holes so that when this is riveted in, there is a little space over here left, and this way we will close the door. Now we take the riveting tool, you put the rivet inside, put the metal in the way you want it to be, put the rivet inside and squeeze the tool. One, it takes a few squeezes, not much left now. And just like that we have a rivet. Here's how it will look from the inside. Now I used an angle grinder to do all of the cutting around the circle. <coughs> I uh, measured it 8 centimeters in diameter and made many cuts. You can do the same for example with a drill, just drill a hole around it. But this was easier for me so that's why I did it. Now it is a matter of breaking it off and smoothing it with a hammer. Now I realized in the middle way that I was doing it wrong. I had to uh, push it, punch it on the outside so that all of the teeth come on this side and then I could cut it off with an angle grinder or with a hacksaw if you have it. Now it's just a matter of hammering all of this down and then putting the pipe in. Now let's make a stove damper, if you don't know stove damper is the thing that controls the uh, fire inside, so this goes in the pipe, uh, I took the sheet metal, cut out in the size uh, a little bit smaller than the pipe, made two cuts on each side and put holes which will take the uh, threaded rod. Now let's fit the rod inside, it has a snug fit, so it doesn't move freely, let's bend it like this, let's bend the other side as well, like that, let's fit this inside now, just like that, so now when I thread it, it isn't easy to move, and when we put this inside the pipe, we can control the heat. Now speaking about pipes, you really have two options. One of them being buy a piece of sheet metal like this. I think uh, this is 24 gauge, maybe ga gauging is different where you live, but this is the thinnest stuff I could get. You can go even thinner. And uh, uh, one option for a pipe would be rolling this on the size that you want. 
put like a wire around it to uh, secure it on that size and put the um, uh, pipe like that on the stove. Uh, they do um, backpacking stoves like that where they use titanium sheets and st stuff like that which is very like paperweight and very strong. Uh, so that would be one option and uh, the second option is more lazy option which I did. I bought this piece of sheet metal and I took it to, a, um, uh, to the guy who works on sheet metal. I had him make four pieces like this and you won't believe what it cost. It just cost one dollar to make one piece. So for four pieces it was four dollars. I gave the guy five dollars and that was it. Of course I uh, took my uh, sheet metal to him and he made he made a uh, ready pipe. Uh, one, size, one side has a bit bigger and the other side is a little bit smaller. He made it in like 10 minutes so I'm sure you can uh, take it to uh, your local guy who works on sheet metal and it will be very cheap to make it because there is nothing difficult. Even uh, you can make this at home. They just have already made jigs uh, so uh, to make these bands on the exact size that you want. Uh, and uh, other than that, that there is no uh, hard thing about it really. You can make this at home as well. So I went with that method. Had the uh, professional guy made the pipe for me. And uh, on the pipe which will uh, sit in the um, uh, wood stove, I made uh, two holes. I made two holes uh, so that the um, uh, smoke, the smoke stove damper will go inside these holes. Now, in case you are wondering. Uh, how this pipe is made and you want to save that few dollars uh, the top side is bent inside from bottom as you see and the bottom side is bent like this so when the two pieces meet they lock together like this and they don't come undone then you take just a punch and punch it or maybe a nail or it doesn't matter so that they stay together and uh, this stopper is not necessary but you can make it by yourself as well it is a lot easier to take it to a professional because they already have the jigs made which bend this so it is very easy I hope you can see it so I have finished threading it inside and as you see it works now on this side I jammed two of these butterfly wings to turn it and as you see it works great now let's put this inside the stove and I think we are ready to rock and roll And just like that we have a working stove. Here is the look from inside of the pipe. And as you see the damper is working. So guys, just like that, the project is finished. Now all it is left to do is to try it out on a trip, on a two-day trip or maybe even more. I'm planning to take this wood stove with me to go hot tent, hot tent camping uh, 
uh, in the mountains in deep snow where there is minus 10 20 degrees at night so this will help a lot uh, now let's talk about the costs uh, the whole project didn't cost more than $20 uh, I picked up uh, these containers for uh, 7 or $8 a piece I picked up uh, all of the sheet metal for like $4 and all of the rest were like $1 or $2 so uh, that is very uh, cheap project and uh, you get, get a lot of value if you put a little bit of work if you want my advice, I would recommend using uh, cobalt drill bits to uh, drill the holes because this is stainless steel. But even if you don't have that special drill bits, regular drill bits will work well uh, if you put some tap oil and go slow. Don't rush it because you will overheat it like I did it over here when I was making the big hole. But uh, if you go slow, you won't have any problems. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, click that bell icon to get notified for more awesome videos, new videos coming every Friday 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure to check out my next trip video, it will be somewhere in here, and um, hope to see you guys in the outdoors. Take care and have a nice day.